What's up? How y'all doing? If you want to start a podcast today, come on down to Buzzsprout. It's going to be the link in the description. If you join today, you will get an Amazon, $20 Amazon gift card. Click the link, sign up, go ahead. What, what you waiting on? Let's get to it. And that's, that's the thing. You can't go ahead. That's the thing, too. I feel as though it, the beef shouldn't be with the other person unless they already knew about what y'all had right, going right. on. Like I, if your significant other fuck around on you, you need to be going for the significant other, not the person they fucked around with. Because that for person sure. the whole time, I don't even know who the fuck you are. Right. Exactly. And hey. the whole time, the other person just playing the game. You can't mm-hmm. hate the player. You got to hate the game. Hey. Hey. <laughs> 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 Hey, yeah. uh, uh, hello. But, hey, that's that's fact. Like like she said, like she she right. You feel me? Like yeah, like you got but a nip shit you feel in me? the bud with old shawty girl for yeah. you. Mm, talk yeah. to your op because yeah. your girl the op whole time. But but like you said though, it all depends on mm. the situation. Like if that nigga knew, you feel me? That yeah, you was my girl. Problem. Yeah, it's a, knew, whole that's story, a whole different you story. You story. But if you lied to him, he just thugging it out. I can't be no. Cause I do. I'm mad at you. I do the same shit if I didn't know. Right. If you didn't. Welcome back to the Young Funny and Black Podcast. I'm your host Reek. To my left, it's your boy Naj, man. To my right, hey y'all, it's Mari. Y'all, we've been looking for a guest. We've been searching for a guest. This is who we've chosen. You know what I'm saying? She ready. You know what I'm saying? It's it's Mari. That's Mari. You know what I'm saying? It's Mari. You know what I'm saying? We in a new podcast studio. Upgraded on these. You know what I'm saying? Finna go crazy. Nigel, what's up? What's happening? What's cool, happening? Man. Cool. Thug. You cooling? Cool. Mari, how you feeling today? First episode? Mm, I'm a little nervous, but I got it. You good, got it. You ready, ready. So, first responders with any real time on the job believe in ghosts. They've experienced events that can't otherwise explain. Same with other professions that deal with injuries, accidents, or death. Police officers, firemen, 911 operators, they've seen the worst that people can do with one another, and they've all had brushes with the unexplained. Don't believe in ghosts? This book might change your perspective. Still any hope of sleep. These stories are unexplained, true accounts from true first responders, police officers, firemen, and 911 operators told from the perspective of everyday people. Every single tale between these covers is 100% true. Think you can explain them? We dare you to try. Paranormal horror author Eve S. Evans introduces a brand new spine-chilling release. The ghost stories of first responders available on Amazon today. If you delight in ghosts, Ghostly books and materials. Feel free to also check out E's podcast, Bone Chilling Tales, to keep you awake for weekly true paranormal creepy stories available on Apple and all major podcasting networks. And it's also available on YouTube as a narrated and animated experience. Highbrow Drivel is a comedy podcast with serious experts. Every week, stand-up comedian Anthony Jeanette asks one of his comedian friends to help him interview a new academic or politician on a subject they're way out of their depth on. The podcast goes to all places, to best drunk conversations to go when you're trying to figure it all out. From a wide range of random and interesting topics, you'll learn a lot, but it is always done through the lens of being funny and curious. It's never just a fun. TED Talk. So listen to the Highbrow Drivel podcast on your favorite podcast app or go to www.highbrowdrivel.com. I always get asked, Rick, I got my podcast up and running, but how do I get asked? So let me tell you about Podcorn. Podcorn is a marketplace connecting podcasters to amazing podcast sponsorship opportunities such as host read ads, interview segments, and topical uh discussions and more with podcorn there is no middleman podcasters of all sizes can browse and choose opportunities right on the platform set their rates and collaborate with brands directly you never give up any of your rights to your podcast and podcorn is here to support you at every step ensuring you're protected and compensated for the work that you do for brands podcorn has helped us get paid at the right way with no money being held up after the job is done as soon as the sponsor approves the ad you get paid quickly and easily click the link in our show notes to sign up to podcorn and start browsing sponsorship opportunities and huge thanks to podcorn for sponsoring this episode ready ready so with that being said let's get into the first topic of the day right Mm -hmm. so what what how would y'all define friend versus associates what's the difference between friends and associates 
<clears throat> you want to go first? Shit. Ladies first, man. <laughs> Ladies okay. first. So, to me, a friend would be somebody that you, you hang around, like somebody you can talk to. Like, y'all, y'all are my friends. Right. But an associate is somebody, like, maybe you went to school with them, and you're cool with them, but right. it's not somebody you would hang out with, but you would speak if you see them. Got you. Got you. How you feel about how you hey, feel about that? Cause she, she broke it down she real, you know what I'm saying? No my cap. mouth, you feel me? Like, like I mean, she basically said it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, no the whoop type shit. You feel me? For sure, cause a lot of people gets you know mixed they up. mixed up Everybody thinking ain't your friend. at all. And it be people that be envious mm-hmm. in your in your circle. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna talk about it. We ain't gonna talk about it though. Child. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> but that lead into something. Hey. That's what that's it, yeah. it, it lead into something. That's okay. what I want to talk about. Uh-huh. I want to talk about the group chat. Okay. I want to talk about the group chat. What group chat? The group chat. Our group chat. The group not our group chat. Oh, no, group not chat. our group oh. chat. Okay. I'm talking about I'm talking about the the female group chat. What, what, how, when you putting the uh, in putting them in the group chat, like, you know what I'm saying? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Cause you're saying a whole lot of this stuff, which is what I'm saying, nothing really. I think basically what he's saying is like, what all goes into like, you know what I'm saying, a female group chat, you feel what I'm saying? Like, how do y'all, you know what I'm saying, expose niggas? Like, just how niggas just come up in the top of like, how much shit y'all be talking in y'all group chat? Oh, see, niggas don't too much come into the topic unless it's something to talk about. Like, we don't just be like, oh, y'all heard about, or, but if something happened, to us with a dude, we right. be like, y'all, so guess what? Okay. <laughs> or let me fill y'all in. Right. Or guess what done happened? But other than that, I don't I don't too much talk so, about dudes. So what you think the average thing of female group chat, like, you know what I'm saying, contains of, of, yeah. We really be getting on each other's ass, like <laughs> any, anybody else. We really just joke around. It's, it's a group chat. We have fun. No okay. cap. That's the gang, you know what I'm saying? Really, though. Yeah. You feel me? People so, you can talk to. For sure. So... Let me ask y'all this. Let me ask y'all this next thing. So when a lot of times you see friends, they'll be they'll be friends for a long time, or they'll get to know one each other, then they fall out, and then their business gets spilled everywhere. Mm-hmm. So what what's y'all thoughts? Because because we don't seen it happen. Like oh, what's yeah. y'all <laughs> what's y'all thoughts on stuff like that happening? Like have y'all happen have has that happened to y'all before? And what y'all think about that? I mean. Honestly, I feel like on the low, even without you knowing, I feel like that didn't kind of happen like everybody out here. You feel me? You might not know it. You might not so, know your yeah, business. As far as I know, my spilled, business ain't been spilled, spilled, but ain't no telling. Uh, Bitches is weird. Like weird as hell. <laughs> I mean, but then again, that's why yeah. you don't tell everybody your business. For that's real, true. Mm-hmm. One thing about me, if I don't too much, like I'll tr- I trust my friends, but I know what to say to certain friends. Got and you, got I know you. what business of mine I want to be heard. By gotcha. certain people. Gotcha. Facts. Because certain people don't reach certain levels in your in your circle. And then some friends like me, I've had a friend that I know they're messy. Right. But they were cool people. They were a good time. But I knew what and what not to tell that friend. Oh, yeah. Because then you yeah. you talk behind somebody else's Feel back. me. Mm-hmm. And I don't play that stuff because I want to tell your business. So I don't tell mine. Facts. Facts. That, that's a real one right there. That's a real, that's that's a real, real one. No cap. That's real shit. No cap. So listen. So listen. So we was thinking, you know how instead of you meet a lot of people, you meet people in school or mm-hmm. when you out of places, has social media become the new first impression of people? Do y'all think? No, not for me, cause I have to meet you in order to see how you is. You can't tell somebody through no screen, right? And when it comes to texting and stuff like DMing or whatever the case may be. You can't you can't pick up on tones. You can't pick up on attitudes. Right, you exactly. Know how they, you know what I'm saying? They mannerisms. So I would have to, yeah, I would have to meet somebody in order to get my first impression. I wouldn't go off of social media. Talk your talk your stuff. Facts, <laughs> facts. That's how people getting catfish. Hey, that's yes. facts. That's facts. Do not let because social media is a platform for people mm-hmm. to fool you. Come like <laughs> people are totally different on social media than they are in real life. It's true too, and yes. <laughs> yeah, now I ask you a little question. Ooh, ooh. Me. It's just anybody in right. So the question was, can social media be what a first impression, the right? The new first impression. I mean, if you think about it, it low key kinda is. Right. You feel me? Cause just imagine how many sugar daddies come up on the <laughs> Instagram. You feel me? Whoop the whoop. Right. They out they see something they like. They ready to pay their bread. 
So I guess I mean she right on the hundred percent right. Because you know, some things I was thinking of, because you know, you meet a person, you might not know them, or you might not like. You know what I'm saying? First thing you're gonna do when you leave, or later on if you're thinking about it, you be like, damn, well, what's their social media? Let me mm-hmm. what they what, what they look like. what they look like. You know what I'm saying? Who they hang around? Then well, you're uh-huh. like, well, that's kind of like the first impression nowadays, and that's what I was wondering. Do you, what level do you take it on at a certain point? Well. I would say, like, what they got on, like, oh, okay, they can dress, they seem like cool right. people, but as far as attitude-wise, I would have to meet somebody and see how they act before I can really oh, gain a first impression. Oh, but social media will, to a certain extent, make you want to meet somebody right. just by seeing their pictures or looking at their profile, but I would have to actually meet them in order to get gotcha. my first impression. Right. Looks, can be, looks can be very deceiving. Very. It, you feel me? Very. It Jeez. can be deceiving. Jeez. Very. <laughs> you know some catfishes or something? Not even the catfishes, you feel me? But, like, just going out what she said, you feel right. me? Because, like, you know, some of the prettiest girls can have the most nasty you know what attitude. Saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Vice versa with a dude. He can be as cute as he want to be, but if he, he don't have no personality, then. That's true. That's fact. That's true. That's and fact. with that being said, let me ask y'all this. What will be do's and don'ts that go into DMing people? Just don't do too much. <laughs> don't do too much, but if you want to get somebody attention, you have to be bold. Like you can't be scared to say stuff, right. but don't cross no lines. Don't come with the glacier. If you don't, yeah. if you don't know, <laughs> not quite, bro. It gets a thing that can get sweet. Hey, yeah, 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 I see you, feel me. Then we're like, hold uh-huh. on, drop a little spice. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just a little spice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. Yeah. When it come to DMing folk, just don't don't cross. Don't cross no lines, but it is good to be bold. Get yourself yeah. out there so somebody will be interested in you. Right. You know what I'm saying? I but, think then, f- but then again, yeah. sometimes they can be wrong because yeah. the more bold that you be, that's the more, you feel me, exposed that you can get. You feel me? Right. Because there's some girls out here, you feel me, who you can be the boldest motherfucker in the world. You can be the most confident nigga in the world. You right. feel me? But with, with, you send that text, next thing you know, you getting screenshotted and getting yeah. sent in the group chat. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. So it like it is all depends on how smooth you is and just how you come off, you feel me? It just gotcha. depends on what kind of pleasure you, you know what I'm saying, you being applied with. And it be a lot of dudes that just can't take rejection. They be like, Well, bitch, you ugly then. Like, like yeah. that right there, that's that's too much. That's yeah. lame. That's just lame. Just take lame. your L, you feel me? <laughs> and just keep take it your moving. L, you feel me? It's, really right. it's people going out sad. They be going out sad. Sad as hell. Going out sad. So Okay. So say you meet somebody, right? Okay. And y'all start dating or whatever y'all going on a date. What would y'all What would y'all go on first dates like? Wise, what would y'all want to do on the first date with somebody when you go on the first date with somebody? Shit. Um, to me, it really wouldn't matter. I just want to make sure that that first date we can actually talk and get to know each other. It'll be a right. date for us to get to know each other, but it doesn't really matter what we do. What do you? What's your version of a date? You feel me? Like, I mean, what makes up a date in your mind? Just go out to eat, or if y'all like to do adventurous stuff, amusement parks, like just something that's fun and make just break the ice. Because sometimes when you're getting to know somebody mm-hmm. and you're meeting somebody new, you kind of nervous. You don't oh, too much. Yeah. You got to try to fill them out. Right. So just something that'll both loosen y'all both up, so y'all can have fun that's or whatever. Get to that's know true. Each other. That's true facts. So saying that, I know a lot of people go out to dinner, or whatever, and it's it's a big topic. You know what I'm saying? So should the dude Pay for the first date Or should he split it Would you look at somebody Differently because they Asked to split the first Bill date No In my opinion I feel as though If you're gonna ask somebody Out on a date Whether it's a male or female Then you should come With the intention on If I ask you out to eat Expect me to pay for it Right But at the same time I don't have no problem Paying for my own meal Right Right I can pay for my own stuff Or we can split the bill We can do it any way you want to But I feel as though If whoever's asking you On that date they should have the common courtesy to pay, but it's exactly. not obligated. For sure. I think it's definitely a, a common courtesy thing because mm-hmm. if you asking somebody out for something, you should be wanting to pay because you asked them to be. You asked mm-hmm. them for your time, you know what I'm saying, know basically. What I'm saying? But it's a lot of people that, you know, some what well, they would like they they don't feel they have to pay. have to pay. And that. they don't, but sometimes paying paying what's the word? I can't. Paying for something without somebody having to say, oh, we can right. split, or I got it, it's like a, it makes you more interested. Like, it right. intrigues you, like, oh, okay, you're going to pay for my food? Mm, okay, this then. might can go somewhere, right. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what do you think about that? I mean, yeah. 
Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> would you ever I ask? Mean, some, would you ever ask somebody to split? Nah, I mean, bro, I'm like like y'all said, I'm not just gonna you feel me be like, let's go on a date. Ooh, ooh. Right. Then I'm going on a date, and I'm expecting you to pay for your own shit. Right. You feel me? Now don't get me wrong. <laughs> Now, if shit going downhill, <laughs> bro, I'm sorry, but you're going to cut that tab in half. You're going to pay your half. I'm, I'm, we just going go on by that so, day. I'm sorry. What would it take for it to go that way? To, to go, go south? bad? Yeah, like, would, it, would the energy like, be off just, or like, born, just the born. energy off, like, energy completely. Like, you just not, you know what I'm saying, interested right. in me. You just energy is everywhere else. Right. Like, just doing dumb shit. You feel me? Mm. Stupid shit. Childish shit. We right. grown. Girl, you want to date, you, you should know how to put your phone down. You Ooh, feel me? That's true. Like, we need to be having a one on one conversation. You need to be engaged with me, and I need to be engaged so, with you. So, can we, can we talk about this real quick? Because I think, speaking of the phone thing, like, people think that if you out of table or on a date, that you, if you have your phone face down, you're hiding something. <laughs> do y'all think Do y'all think that no. Or like Cause for me It's like I'm turning I'm turning my phone off That's, that's me give you My undivided attention But some people think It's like hiding How do y'all feel about that Me I don't too much care Cause if I turn my face My phone face down It mean I'm trying not to be distracted Right Cause as soon as my phone light up With this generation We all into the phone So as soon as my phone light up I'm gonna check it But if it's mm-hmm. face down I can't see it So now exactly. you got all my attention That's fast You ain't gotta worry that. about nothing no But cap. At the same time, some people do be hot stuff when they flip their phone. Uh-huh. That's there that's are a few, discussion. there are a few exceptions. You know what I'm saying? Discussion. There are always a few exceptions. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Always. <laughs> but you, you now, do you know, know so we don't. I feel like hey. you know. Uh huh. You can always pick them on the vibe if you right. feel if you feel something ain't right, and then they turn yeah. the phone over. Then it's like, hmm. But if it's just the, you know what I'm saying? You right. always can feel the vibe. You can always yeah. feel the vibe. You got to pay attention to so people's energy. I feel as though you shouldn't put too much thought in somebody flipping their phone over because it really could be nothing. Right, right, right. That's facts. That's facts. That's true. That's, hey, hey, talk your shit. Talk though. your talk. You know what I'm saying? Talk your talk. So, with that, what would be some red flags when meeting a person or getting to know a person that could throw you off of their their path. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to really fuck with them like that. Like, what red flags do y'all be seeing with people? Mm, you got doing shit for clout? Mm. Mm. Like clout chasing. Doing, doing more shit than you don't have to, you feel me? Right. Like Being extra. Just being early, you feel me? You ain't got to be yourself. all out there. You ain't got to be posting this, that, and the third. Right. About your life yeah. 24-7. Yeah, I don't like that. It's just a lot of shit. Because some people I'm, get, I'm like, really proud. into social media. Like, they yeah. their whole life. And that's, I mean, and but you gotta look at the generation that we in. This is a yeah. whole so, new age generation. So, right. a phone, like, you feel me, revolves around everybody. It's like everybody yeah. got to be in their fucking phone for no reason. Mm. Yeah. Talk your time. Mm, a red flag. I would say, like, it went back to the dating thing. A red flag, you getting to know somebody, it's like they they telling you all about them, 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 them. They're not trying yeah. to get to know you. It's like they're the only one talking. Mm. Or if it's just awkward. Or they Ooh. on their phone Talk your the whole time. The whole time. Like we're on a That's date. Rude. What are we on a date for? If you're on your phone, you could do that at the crib. For <laughs> sure. You wasting my time. <laughs> you know you doing too much. You Talk your me. talk. You, you know what I'm saying? Stayed on your phone and ate at the house. For sure. You didn't come here for that. Talk your shit. Talk bitch. your talk. That's what I'm talking yes. about. Hey, yeah. hello. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Talk your talk. Got this. <laughs> hey. Gotta get these little shit out. Man. Hey, you talking about? Hey. No yeah. cap. That's that's, that's facts though. Do like y'all? Look, my fault. Do y'all look? Do y'all look at people's friends as well, like who they hang around? Yeah. As a judgment yeah. to them. <laughs> yeah. So why why is yeah. that? <laughs> yeah. Nah. Off the real. Go ahead though. I don't, cause people do say the what is it? The birds of uh, one flock, one birds of the same something flock together. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In my opinion, I don't feel like that, cause. People are their own person, so yeah. they're going to make their own decisions. Mm-hmm. Everybody don't have to follow up with their friends. Just because they friend the whole thotting and bopping, sucking and fucking, don't mean me. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's their business. And we done that's seen that's it. That's my business. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So sure. I feel as though a friend group shouldn't determine how you are as a person. Right. Because everybody ain't like that. So Mar says no. You say yes. Yeah, yeah. I say yes. Explain. Only because you got to take a certain shit into accountability. You feel me? Like, you have... The reason why I, I'm always observative of the friends because nowadays you have some friends that try to, you know what I'm saying, right. like, control what the hell you got going on with your man or control right. what you got going on with your girl. You feel me? Ooh, ooh. So I'm like, bro, I'm not about to be 
trying to fuck with you, you feel what I'm saying, and get you to a higher place, and your friends always bring you down. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Now, I don't even now ain't even got no room to maneuver mm-hmm. with. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? Woo-de-woo. I feel that. Listen. Letting people control their relationship. If your friend is telling you what and what Talk not to shit. do in your relationship. <laughs> Talk your shit. Get up out of them. Talk your talk. <laughs> if they ain't talk your talk. about your relationship, Yo, that is not your friend. I'm and they need to be you. cut off I'm immediately because they're not Ask. doing nothing but looking out for I'm the best interests of their self and not you. No Fact. cap. Talk your talk, Fact. my gang. That's, that's, you know that's what not their man. That's Fact. your man. So Fact. hello, it's not y'all's. And and that's where they be going wrong, listening to the wrong listen people the in your friends. ear. You can't listen to your friends all the time. Your friends are there for you to vent, and they listen. And sometimes they're not gonna tell to... you what they what they want you to hear. Ooh, yeah. They just gotta sit there and listen, cause mm. at the end of the day, that's your boyfriend. Y'all are gonna have y'all problems, but if your friend is speaking in your ear, telling you what you need mm-hmm. to be doing, mm-hmm. basically steering you away from your relationship, that's not your friend. Facts. Don't that's let not your, your friend. Your friend shouldn't be telling you what that's you need. That's a foe. Doing. That's that's a fact right that's there. Your fault. Talking your talk, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, so, can we talk about <sighs> dudes unsending DMs? What? That's how does lame that look? As hell. I don't give a damn. <laughs> I don't give a damn. <laughs> I don't give a hot damn. I don't give a damn. Hey, you want to send it now? Shit. I don't give a fuck. It's too late, baby. We so, see. So, what, so what's the timeline for you to unsend a DM? Cole, let me tell you something. <laughs> you got 24 hours? Let me tell you something. Bro, you, hey, look, just, yo, you feel me? You know. You know. Got 24 you feel hours? Me? I don't, look, I don't know how long you take, you feel me? But if I know. That you didn't saw it, right? And you just not reply. No, it ain't be unseen. Not unseen. On oh, my mama, that's unseen. That's the funniest thing to me. Like I already seen it, baby. I don't know what you unseen. Right, but it's seen. It just wasn't replied to. Hey, it, I don't give a damn. Then you go into guess what? <laughs> I don't give a damn. The group chat. Okay. Then they go into the group chat. Nah, I wouldn't do that. It is damn. what it is. I, mean, I wouldn't do I, like I, that. That hurt. That, that, but though. sometimes not getting a response from a female hurt a dude pride. So I see why they be unsend unsending the messages, but it really be no. Yeah. It's already been seen. It's already been in the air. So it's like you unsending it is basically trying to be like, well, I ain't texting no way, so I don't give a fuck. Yes, you did. I wouldn't even necessarily <laughs> say. And you do give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got hurt. Somebody's feelings okay, was hurt so, at some yeah. point in that yeah. conversation. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Mm. I just wouldn't necessarily say it's a pride thing, you know? Because mm-hmm. I just feel like, bro, you, it's just deal. Yeah. Like, it's just a conversation. It's just a dead conversation there for no reason. Right. Like, you feel me? Like, Ooh, I tried, boom, obviously I failed, so why is it still there? <laughs> why is it still there? The fuck is you still there? I'm not just going to keep it there to remember my L. Mm. <laughs> so I need all the dubs right here. I don't need no L. So you want to clean You, you want a clean me? rap sheet. You feel me? Yeah, though. Okay. Yo. I felt that. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Ain't going for none of that. Ain't going for none of that. My name is not hey, going out bad. Tell you. So can we talk about... um? Can we talk about dudes saying that a guy's out because somebody hit his girl? Huh? Nah, that ain't. Mm. You say what now? When dudes call your girl the op, guys ops because she gave it up to him. Your somebody girl else. is the op. Your girl is the op. <laughs> Wait, explain it to me one more time. So when a dude calls another dude yo, the op, uh huh, because the guy hit his girl. I mean, is they friends or they just like they just they just didn't. don't know each other. They don't know each other. How yeah. is, that's not my op, man. That that girl, see, I, <laughs> she see, did you dirty. It's see, the local I hoe. Say, hey, that's the problem, <laughs> the local local See, local hoe. See, listen. Let me tell you something. Let me <laughs> Please tell you talk something. your talk real you quick. Yeah. The local hoes say they're the most famous. Yeah. Ooh. You know what? Wing. Local rappers. That's just like me and you, bro. Me and you cannot know each other. You feel me? Right. But I can have a little whoop de whoop. You right. feel me? Got down, yo. So I found out she didn't got down and slept with you. Mm. I'm, I, yeah, I'm gonna have a problem with you. <laughs> but I need to correct that shit first. Yeah, cause you mm-hmm. she folded you under feel pressure. Me? That's and that be the problem. And that be that's the thing. You can't go ahead. That's the thing too. I feel as though. It, the beef shouldn't be with the other person unless they already knew about what y'all had right, going right. on. Like I, if your significant other fuck around on you, you need to be going for the significant other, not the person they fucked around with. Because that person sure. the whole time might not even know who the fuck you are. Right. Exactly. And hey. the whole time, the other person just playing the game. You can't mm-hmm. hate the player. You got to hate the game. Hey. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, uh, hello. But, hey, that's that's fact. Like like she said, like she she right. You feel me? Like yeah, like you but nip shit you feel in me? the bud with old shawty girl for yeah. you. 
mm. talk yeah. to your op because yeah. your girl the op whole time. But but like you said though, it all depends on mm. the situation. Like if that nigga knew, you feel me, that yeah, you was my girl. Yeah, yeah it's a knew, whole different story. Whole different story. Totally. But if you lied to him and he just thugging it out. I can't be no. I can't, cause I do, be mad I'm a, I do the same shit if I didn't know. You right. If me? you didn't know, you. St- but nigga, if you knew, I'm on your ass. Right. Now, if you my homeboy and we in the same circle, that's fucked up. That's fucked shit, up. Shit, shoot that 30. It ain't nothing shoot new. That, yo. Yeah, you got to shoot that here. Yeah. Because yeah. we done seen it. You, you got to yeah. shoot that here. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. Yeah. respect. You yeah. got to shoot that got respect to. round. Shit, we, we done had a lot of respect rounds. A lot of respect rounds. I ain't going to say no name. No name. Too much. Too much, yeah. Cause we want nobody feeling I real, know, you know what I'm saying? Really? Jump no, gallery of point, boy. He's going down the gallery of point, boy. I ain't <laughs> lying, boy. <laughs> in the rock, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wilding. Oh, with some little chicken heads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some damn chicken heads. If you know, you know. You know. So, last last thing I want to get to. Why do people y'all feel let others in their business for attention? Like, what about like what about that? Cause it's it's kind of weird, you know what I'm saying? Like when people just spit their business out, they'll be like, "Oh, I'm not having a bad day. Y'all don't text me." But looking for I that, hope y'all know who I'm thinking of. <laughs> but I ain't gonna say too much. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. That's weird. Like, do you want people to feel bad for you? Do you want people to text you? Cause if I see I'm having a bad day, don't nobody hit me on here. Right. Okay. Okay. What's Snapchat supposed to do? What TikTok supposed to do? Exactly. Damn, my hey. though. If you want the word to know your business, hey, dog. To hey, get she <laughs> is funny. <laughs> she yeah. funny as hell. So I'm over here thinking who like, is she talking about. Hey, he said, I'm thinking, oh, like, hold on, wait a minute. Hey, we ain't Forget do, the question. He's like, we ain't gonna like, do, do, do too much. We ain't gonna do though. too much. Like, yeah. But yeah. How you feel on that? Now, How I feel about that? I feel like, to be real, we do not care. A lot of people just don't. Don't care because you gotta you gotta think. Even if that shit true and you going through something, who the fuck cares? Everybody else is going through, living their own life, mm-hmm. going through something they own selves. You know what I'm saying? And they like, don't go on, it's like it's like why you want people to why are you trying to post your pain to get attention? Exactly. That makes people not want to take you serious because it's exactly. like every time something happens, you post and post and post, and it's like, girl, what do you want us to say? Let me say something too. If you got a ch- if you record yourself cry cry. And put a filter on that motherfucker if before you, you post it. yourself cry, you ain't hurt for real. You was not hurt. You doing the most. You look like a fool to me. C- Monkey with a wig on. <laughs> with a wig I'm on. Telling you. A like whole a fool. fool. No, you look like quit. a fool. I just had to say that before we before so we had wrapped that so up. A filter on his way. A filter. That's, that's for me. You thought a filter on it, <laughs> With baby? the filter, with the little flowers in the back. Like, come on. How come on. Take you That's how we feel. Why y'all coming at their necks like that? What's because, up? Because, like, you ain't hurt for real. You're not, really, you not really hurt for real. You, you don't know. Maybe they don't got nobody else at home to talk to. You feel me? Maybe they want some love from you. Maybe they want you to see it. Be like, I hope he swipe up. Make sure I hope he swipe up. <laughs> if that... <laughs> I hope you tell your th- play with your therapist, not me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. You want somebody to swipe up, then tell that right. person. Talk, it, talk right. to that person my, personally. My, my thing is this: be though, direct. I'm not People take need you to understand. Everybody out here got their own story. Their own story. Everybody out here got their ups and downs in their life. You feel mm-hmm. me? We don't give a fuck what you got going on. You feel me? No okay. cap. I wish you happiness and shit, but keep that shit off the social media. You feel Tell me? Straight like that. I'm not going to take you serious if you crown with a flower crown on. Because next time At I see all. some shit like that, I'm going to mm. swipe up. At all. Talk your talk. Up you feel me? I'm on that. You. On that. No, no cap. On that. If you have on a flower crown, please don't cry on Snapchat. <laughs> flower crown. You please know, don't cry. Please don't cry. And that's the old one, too. Like... That's that damn oh, middle school flower. Oh, ben, <laughs> ben, <laughs> ben crying on the internet. That's why. Been crying on the internet. Ben That's crazy as internet. hell. And with that being said, we've come to the end of the episode. Make sure that y'all like, subscribe. Y'all leave us a follow. Our Instagrams will be in the description. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Make sure y'all like and follow. Goddamn, you feel me? We back. It's, it's month going crazy. Peace. You feel me? Hey, what you, what you got to say? Okay.